guys, welcome to this episode of At The Shelter. My name is Marcella Torres and today we're gonna go over grooming our pets. Okay, so grooming is important to your dogs or your cats or your pets health because they're just like us, you know, they need to have a proper mouth, make sure that there's no gum disease. Their fur, once it gets matted, it's hard to move. Um, and their toes too, their feet, that's a big thing. You gotta trim the nails so that way they can walk the more they walk, the better they can exercise. So when it comes to brushing your dog's teeth, you always wanna use a animal toothbrush. The bristles are a lot softer and also animal toothpaste. So just now, I'm just gonna show him the toothbrush and touch his teeth with it and that was it. So you can see he's not 100% happy with me, but once he's good with this, good boy, okay. You can start with the brushing. And just actually get in there and give him a little scrub. And as you can see, I'm not really brushing very hard, but this is really all that you need to do. Okay, so now we got rid of a uh, doggy breath. Let's get rid of that doggy smell. So when we're bathing our dog, you only want to bathe them um, at the most once every two weeks. They need all the oil on their fur. Always use dog products on your dog. Um, dish soap, things like that, that human shampoo even, they're really harsh, they can dry out the delicate skin. So, um, once you have a nice clean dog, you're definitely gonna wanna brush them. This helps eliminate um, fur. Everybody hates having dog fur all over their clothes or in their house. A good brushing once a day really helps out with that. So, with something like this, if you see that he has a lot of mats, you just wanna go nice and slow and gentle. Now the big thing to do guys is if you see that your pet is fearful of the tools, just introduce them slowly. And if you notice, I'm actually taking my time pretty easy here on Bob's ears where he has the most problems. I would definitely suggest a good wash or bath before this because this is pretty crusty. Now with these slicker brushes, make sure that you don't stay in the same spot because they are kind of pokey. So you don't want to irritate our puppy's fur. The last thing that you can do at home, but it definitely takes a lot of um, desensitization, is having your dog's nails trimmed. And she hates getting her nails trimmed. And today I actually don't even have any clippers, but if you notice, she's not very happy about me touching her paws. She's constantly pulling them away. So what I would do is just do nice little sessions with her where I touch her feet and maybe give her a treat. Touch her feet and then give her a treat. And of course, your local, your veterinarian can always assist you with this if it's something that you don't feel comfortable with. Thanks for joining me for this episode of At The Shelter. We went over grooming today. Remember, it's good for your dog's health and longevity and it can actually be a lot of fun for them once they get used to it and uh, they learn to enjoy it. So tune in for next month's episode. I'll see you then. Bye guys. Now let's take a look at this month's pet adoption schedule. 